This week in West Virginia, the tourism office officially announced the opening of the Pipestem Peak Zipline Tour at Pipestem Resort State Park. This is a really, really cool thing that we work together on to, to, to finally bring to fruition. You know, we have seven million people that visit state parks in West Virginia each year. 400,000 of those, imagine, 400,000 of those people come and stay right here at Pipe Stem or come and visit. Governor Justice announced that the state plans to build a 72 mile rail trail along the Elk River and Buffalo Creek. 72 miles of a park where people could enjoy everything from swimming to boating to fishing to kayaking to everything to hiking and on and on and on. It is unbelievable what this will do for an area of this state that is starving for this. The West Virginia Department of Transportation participated once again in the bridge design and build competition in Huntington. Getting these students in front of engineers within West Virginia, telling them about you know, careers that they can have here is just such a great opportunity to show there are well-paying jobs that we have right here in the state. We don't have to leave. The Department of Environmental Protection hosted a ribbon cutting ceremony for its Muddy Creek Watershed Restoration Project. The Department of Education named more than 200 students Knights of the Golden Horseshoe. The First Lady announced the expansion of the Communities in Schools program to Cabell County and the West Virginia National Guard held a change of command ceremony where Colonel Brian Priest assumed command of the 130th Airlift Wing from Colonel Johnny Ryan. You can find more information on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.